it is finally time for the final episode. We are going to take on the ultimate boss of this game and also one of the hardest bosses you will ever face in a video game. I am, of course, talking about Elizabeth. Let's get started. Personas. My main persona is, of course, Titania, Mind Charge, Nifahim, Resist Pierce, Resist Strike, Resist Slash, Ice Amp, and Ice Booth. My Buffalo is just there for Monad. I had to jump through a lot of hoops to get that set up on her, but it was definitely worth it. Next up is Hellel. This persona is required to beat this boss. And one thing I do differently that other people don't do, since you need this persona to win the fight, why not use it in the actual battle besides just the final blow? As you see, Hellel is resistant to all three physical attacks. You can easily make Hellel with Asura and Shiva. It's very easy to put no poison on Shiva, and Asura has Unshaken Will. So since this guy resists all three physical attacks and I can easily put no poison and unshaken will on Hellel, that takes care of the Nepris turn. The fact that Asura also has Spell Master, Hellel comes with Mind Charge and you can easily put Vitnikrat on him too and he learns Salvation, there's no reason to not use this guy in the actual battle. Next up of course is Satan, the other half of Armageddon. I use Satan for clearing Monad with the Armageddon spell. Satan automatically learns Repel Light, he's immune to Dark... And now for a very underrated persona, but it is the perfect persona for this battle. Dionysus. Dionysus automatically comes with Mind Charge. He is inherently resistant to, um, to Slash Strikes. He also resists Thunder. He will eventually get Resist Wind. I only need to put three abilities on him. Resist Strike, Dyrian Ham, and No Shock. No Shock is extremely, extremely important. Next up we have Laxamy. Building this thing was quite difficult because I had to put four abilities on her. All three resist physical attacks as well as mind charge. She all make and learns Dyrian Ham, no dark and resist fire. Of course, no dark is taboo. Next up we have Hariti. Hariti is basically the dark version of Laxamy. She resists the dark spell, so I will use her against Alice. Resist Pierce, resist strike, resist slash, mind charge. She automatically has Dyrian Ham. And I just gave her Monet Star just so that she could have some way to fight in Monet, but it's not really needed. Okay, now this was definitely the most time consuming persona to make, but it's definitely worth it. For Neos. Yes, I am not bullshitting you. I am actually going to use this thing in my fight with Liz. Uh, unfortunately, it is a very weak persona, and I had to go through a lot of shit to make this happen. Uh, all three resist physicals as well as resist fire. This guy is weak to fire, so you need to put resist fire on him. His partner in crime star me. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm going to use Fornios instead of this guy, it's because this guy nullifies fire. And of course, against Liz, that is complete taboo. Since I'm going to be using him in, in combination with the Fornios, I might as well get some use out of him. I put the three auto abilities on him, so that's, that's like his only job. I think I'm the only person who has actually raised Fornios just to battle Liz. But trust me, it's time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. All right, moving on, of course, we have Vishnu and Anata. I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain this. You need Vishnu and Anata to win this battle. Just like Hillel with Anata, since I have to use him to win, I'm going to get another use out of him. And don't forget that this guy naturally learns how to counter, which is very, very helpful. All you got to do is put the three resist physicals on him because he naturally learns a healing spell. It's kind of costly, but it might save you. You never know. The thing is, I normally attack with Titania, but in the event on that turn my HP is too low to attack, I will switch to Anata and have him heal instead to absorb the Jack Frost Mabufadines. Visnu, Visnu's only job is to cast Affinity, which is why Visnu has Spellmaster. Whichever one you're going to use to cast Affinity, make sure they have Spellmaster. That's very important because Affinity costs a lot of fucking points. Now you may have noticed that none of my personas except for Anata have high counter. The reason for this is because I'm not using high counter on my personas. Instead, I'm going to use the weapon that gives you high counter and that takes off a lot of stress on my persona fusion. As for the armor, I'm using armor of light resist physical, not magical. Your main concern is her physical attacks because her physical attacks are stronger than her magic attacks. Not only that, but you see, she can potentially do more physical attacks than magic attacks because of her Alice and Megatron turn. So resist physical, in my opinion, is much more important than resist magical. Especially for me because during the time I'm sponging her elemental magic attacks, I'm going to have my defense buffed anyway. Your shoes really don't matter because you are going to be using the Divine Pillar. You pretty much need this thing to beat this bitch. If anything, I suggest something with reduced stumbling if you're using a sword because you might want to try to attack her physically, but nah, I, I wouldn't advise against it because you're still falling your ass. 
Now, I'm actually a little low on items, but as long as everything goes fine, I'll win. Snuff Souls, Twin Souls, Precious Eggs, Somas, anything that can restore your magic points, that's very, very important. Beads or bead chains, that can help you out really, really well. Of course, this is the most important item. Homo Silicuses, am I even saying that right? You need these shits. I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 is a good number. I recommend at least 15. Now that we got that out of the way, you're probably wondering where the hell is Orpheus Telos. Uh, I don't know why everybody seems to think that you need Orpheus Telios to win. You do not. Um, some of you may say that, hey, I'm handicapping myself by not using Orpheus Telos. It's actually the exact opposite. I have a huge issue with Orpheus Telos. Actually, I have three problems with that thing. The fact that you need to max out every social link in the game is bad enough. But you see, you need to use some really rare, hard-to-make, powerful personas to make that bastard. And then, after that... You're still going to be shuffling for about 5, 10, maybe 2 days and so on and so forth just to get that one perfect setup on him because Orpheus Telos evenly inherits every ability in the game. So instead of using Orpheus Telos, I prefer to use different personas for each portion of the battle. With Orpheus Telos, you're practically asking for like a perfect 4 or 5 ability inheritances and he inherits everything evenly so it's going to take forever. The downside to not using Orpheus Telos is the fact that, uh, unfortunately, if she gets a critic hit on you and you lose your turn, you might end up dying. A perfect example is Laxamy. Uh, and now that we're talking about this, I guess it's time I need to explain the rules of the fight. During the time when Elizabeth is taking any of her turns, you cannot have a persona, an ability, an equipment. You cannot have anything out that absorbs, nullifies, or reflects anything that she could potentially do. If you do this, she will automatically cast Megadolion 9,999 damage. The reason why this is a problem with our office Telos is because, let's say for example, I have Laxmi out and I try to block her, um, her Megatron light spells. She does a physical hit instead and she gets a critical hit. She knocks me down on my ass and then her, her second turn, she does the light spell. I don't get up, I skip my turn and now it's Alice's turn. She's going to try to cast my Mudan. Unfortunately, Laxman has no dark, which means she casts Megadolion instead. Now, this isn't a problem on the portable version because on the portable version, when you're knocked down, you don't completely lose your turn. Uh, unfortunately, if you're playing the portable version, you're most likely doing this on Maniac mode. And if she gets a critic hit on the portable version Maniac mode, you're fucked. End of story. Nullifying her status effects is fair game. If it wasn't, this fight would definitely be impossible. Another rule about this fight is um, this is a solo battle. I never actually tried this, but they say that if you bring a full party, she automatically kills you. This does not happen on the Popa version because on the Popa version, she forces your party to leave. The reason for this is because you can actually control your party on the Popa version. What this means is you can farm infinite infinities. <laughs> Spam that while your party members do all the dirty work. Last but definitely not least, I've never seen the end of this, but apparently you are indeed on a time limit. If you don't take her out after a certain period of time, she summons Pixie and automatically kills you with Major Dolion. Infinity will not save you, so they say. For this reason, a lot of people try to do that whole counterattack thing around the 10k HP mark, but you actually have more than enough time to, um, to bring it down twice without her, her, without her summoning her Pixie. And it's too much of a coin flip, so, but we'll talk about that once we actually start the fight. Unfortunately, guys, this is indeed a hard super boss. What I mean by that is, uh, sometimes you are going to get your ass handed to you, regardless of how strong you are. Uh, it's a long walk back up from Monad, so there's a fast way to get this done. Just have your party members find the exit for you until you get to floor 9. And then once you get to the final door, send them after the monster so that they don't go to the final floor with you. And that way you'll fight Liz by yourself. I told you I never tried to fight her with the party, but they say that if you try that on this version, she will automatically kill you. So yeah, fuck that. Alright, let's make sure that everything is ready. And uh, here we go.
I have been waiting for you. The adversary I asked you to defeat is now standing before you. Yes, I am referring to myself. I have long sought an understanding of who I am, just as you and my master have done. Those who set foot in the Velvet Room are all destined to embark on this search for identity. I have come to know power in many forms. If I face one whose power exceeds my own, then I may discover an answer to my question. The truth of my existence. You may be able to give me that answer. Will you do me the honor of fighting me? You have my thanks. Now, shall we begin? Who is that? Um, is it just me? Or does it seem like she wants to fight? What? Her power is unbelievable! Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth, and to show her appreciation for fucking her, she's going to kill us. How nice. Let's get started. We're going to switch to Lexamy, and we're going to do a mind charge. I make my living as an elevator attendant, but I know several effective ways of inflicting pain. Don't worry, I'm not as fragile as I look. Try to kill me, if you can. Elizabeth has an attack pattern. Her first persona is Cert, Mara Agadine. And these aren't your typical Mara Agadines. All of her spells are modified versions of the original spells. They are much more powerful. Strike attack. Okay. Now we're going to switch to my girl, Titania. And this is how I do my damage. Niflaheen. Thirteen hundred, very, very nice. Her next persona is Jack Frost. Titania resists ice. I told you guys on Twitch I was gonna use Titania against this bitch. I told you, I fucking told you I was gonna do it. Anyway, moving on. Her next persona is Thor. This is where Dionysus come in. And Dionysus resists thunder attacks. And don't forget that um, when you're attacked while you're shocked, you are completely fucked. This is why I put no shock on Dionysus to prevent him from ever being shocked. A common scenario is she shocks you with Thor, and then she does a physical attack, fucking your day up. Maziodyne! My buffs are gone, unfortunately. There's Regenerate too. Now we're gonna keep Dionysus on because Dionysus also has Resist Wind. Her next persona is Chu Cholin. I don't know if I said that right. Or in this case, just strike attack and a slash attack. So that was her wind form. Now she's gonna do her light form, Megatron. Now we're gonna switch back to Lexamy. Lexamy was this light. I'm gonna cast Dyraham here. Mahaman. And keep in mind that if you do not resist her light and darkness, it will hit. It will not miss. Ever. I guess if you have 99 homo silicuses, you don't have to worry about resisting it, but oh well. Alright, next we're going to switch to Haritzi. Her next persona is Alice. As long as she doesn't get a critical hit, I can't lose because I have her completely figured out. The only way she can beat me is if I misclick, she gets a critic hit, or if I run out of items. And to that end, guys, I really gotta be careful with um, how I use my items because I have um, I have just enough to beat her, and I did not feel like grinding any more somers. Mamudan! Hello, Alice. Nice to see you. You miss, bitch. No counterattacks. Damn, not one counterattack in that rotation. That sucks. 
All right, next we're gonna switch to Hellel. Don't forget, Hellel is actually very useful in this fight, other than Armageddon. On second wheel, no poison. Hellel resists all three physical attacks. This is the perfect persona for her Nepris turn. I guess I'll go ahead and talk to Protection Sorcerer right here. I don't need to heal yet. Sexy dance! Fuck that. Evil smile! Fuck that too. But sexy dance is a lot more dangerous. Alright, the most important turn. After her neighbor's turn, you switch to Venisnu or Anada and you cast Infinity. If you do not do this shit, you will get your ass completely owned by 9,000 Masakoto Mejidolion. And that is her full attack pattern. After the Major Deleon, she resets back to search. I guess if you have 99 Somas, you, you can use Odin and Valkyrie, but no thank you. Now, this is where Fornios comes in. And why it's very important that I gave him is this fire. Here we're gonna cast Best Friends. Did anybody ever think about doing that? Ah, oh, you got bitch slapped in the face. That counter set finally went in. And by the way, you might want to bring a calculator so you know exactly how much how much damage you've done, so that's very important. Alright, I got enough HP to spawn the next hit, so back to Titania. 1300 damage! And at this point, I just simply repeat this process over and over and over again until it's time to cast Armageddon. The only way I can lose, as I said, is if she gets a critic hit in the most, in the most uh, inconvenient time. It doesn't happen too often, but it can happen, so just pray that that shit never happens. I told you, I'm not really worried about her magic attacks too much. It's those physical attacks I don't like. Those physical attacks really scare me. So that's why I choose resist physical over resist um resist magical. And I know I can use resist physical on my sword for Office Telios, but again, um I I don't like Office Telios. I, I don't have time to match up every social link. And plus, I'd rather have counterattack on my weapons. That way, I don't have to put it on my personas. And although I'm not relying on counterattack to actually kill her, you still want counterattack so you can reduce the damage done to you. So you you still want counterattack, but I don't use it to to prevent her from doing the whole pixie thing. I I, I don't have time for that shit. Fuck that. All right, here I'm gonna use um one of my one of my SP items to make sure that I keep in the chat. Strike. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, see, anytime I fight her, she does physical attacks very, very often, so that's just, you know, the roll of the dice, I guess. Back to Hell Lil, I guess I will do a um do a salvation. It's costly, but he automatically comes with it, and you can easily put spell master on him too, thanks to um thanks to Shiva, so that's not a problem. Not Shiva, but a Sora. Can you withstand this? Alright, back to Vishnu or Nada and cast Infinity. Do not forget to do this. Your fate is in the car. Don't think for a second that just because she has an attack pattern, she's easy. She is not easy. For starters, just one critical hit and you're fucked. The main issue with Elizabeth isn't actually defeating her, it's preparing for her. 
The thing is, you gotta go through so much shit just so that you'll be strong enough to beat this bitch. And even then, the fight is just completely luck based. So her attack pattern means nothing. Strike. She's bitch slapping me with that book today. Alright. I think I can sponge this hit, so back to Titania. And we're gonna cast Nifleen here. This is where the damage comes from when I play. Titania, like I said I was gonna do. Can you withstand this? Ouch. Your fate is in the car. Mabufadine. Don't forget that Titania also um resists wind, so if you want to, you can um chip her off after her Thor turn, but you know, you'll probably don't want to do that. You might want to save that turn for healing and casting mind charge or whatever. Slash Pierce. Man, she is really bitch slapping me with her cards today. What is this, Blast Beepers? And where are the fucking counterattacks? Mind charge! My good dime. I have chosen. I like how that persona can't naturally learn that ability, so you cheated, Elizabeth. You fucking cheated, bitch. I don't know, can he learn my good dime? I mean, if this is the portal version, he could with a skill card, but you know, this is fast. Diarrhea ham! Am I even saying that right? A lot of people like to use Thunder Rain here. Oh, counterattack, bitch! Magnificent. Your power is every bit as impressive as I'd hoped. But the curtain has just risen. Show me your best performance. As I was saying, a lot of people like to use um, Thunder Rain there to attack the wind guy, but I prefer to attack so I can use Titania. I told you I didn't like this song at first, but after fighting this bitch over and over and over again until you finally beat her, it kind of sticks in your head. See, I've only got a few items, so I really got to be careful about how I use them. I got to make sure that I have enough for Infinity and, um, I got to make sure I have enough for Infinity and Best Friend. So I'm going to use the and Soul here and hope that she doesn't do too much damage to me. And she didn't? Okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, see, see that? Be careful. It's it's very easy to misclick, and see, if, if I'd have done a physical attack there, I would have died face to this, this, this fucking Mejidoleon coming up. You gotta be really careful against her. You can easily mess this up anytime. Masakoto! Okay, now we're gonna go back to Furnos and I'm gonna cast Best Friends. And depending on how much damage I take next round will determine if I go to Titania or not. I guess I'll try it. I should have just enough HP to survive this. As long as you don't get a critic hit, of course. And I barely survived it. So 
So now I'm gonna use the summon. After I switch to Dionysus, of course. Alright, that's one summon down and two to go. That was really close, but I took a, I took a gamble there and I won. Alright, Mazia dying. My good dime. Be careful. Ouch. Are you okay? Please be more careful. Are you okay? First day. I'm gonna use a B chain so I can save my magic points now. Your face in the car. My hummans. You miss. Physical attack. Ouch. See, at this part, she doesn't do magical damage, but she can still do physical damage. So again, I think resist physical is much more important than than um, resist magical. I just use the medicine to keep my HP in check a little bit here. My mood on. Alice, do a little dance, try to death us, and she missed. Slash, ouch, 145 damage. Back to Hellel. Guess I hit my HP again. And since Hellel has um, Unshaken Wheel and no poison, I can use these um, these minor healing items to keep my HP in check and save my save my my bees and stuff of course if, if you've been farming bees this isn't gonna be a problem but since I'm low on items I gotta be very tactical Prepare. slash ouch Can you withstand this? ouch okay my HP is a lot lower this time so I don't think I'm gonna go into Titania the second time around I'm gonna switch to another this time unless I get a, um, a critical uh, not a critical but a counter attack after her third turn Alright, now we're gonna switch to Fornio's cast best friends and hope for the best. Sometimes you gotta take a gamble. If I get critted, I'm fucked. Ouch. Your face. My Aga dying. In case you guys are wondering why I'm not using bees to heal my HP, it's because I'm doing this at the middle of the game before I get to the point where I can farm lots of bees. So I'm kind of impatient. I want to get this done now because some of those cutscenes are pretty damn long. Now, normally this is where I switch to Titania and have her cast Diffleheim against Cert. But you see my HP right there? I could take a gamble and hope for a counter attack, but I can guarantee you I get wiped out if I try that. So this is where Anada comes in. Anada resists ice moves. I gave him the three physical resist spells, and don't forget that he also naturally learns counter attack. He also comes with a healing ability. Since I can't attack with Titania here without dying, I'm gonna switch to Anada, and I'm gonna heal with him instead. I will attack with Titania later on, but not right now. I really need to do that, but it's there just in case I need to do it because, you know, it's always safe that it's always a good idea to have a contingency plan in case things don't go right. Now I'm going to go back to Dionysus. I still got a mind charge stack, so I don't need to cast mind charge right now. I'm just going to keep my HP in check. Did I rear him? Mazia dying. Your face 
another Mazi at nine. And now I'm gonna switch back to Titania instead of keeping on Dionysus because Titania also resists wind attacks. Since I didn't attack her soot, I'm gonna have to attack her wind form instead. It's not gonna do as it's not gonna do as much damage as it did before, especially since my buff is gone, but still, every little bit helps. I have this whole battle planned out. Prepare. Bitch slapped in the face. face My guru dying. Titania resists that. Thank you very much. Back to Lexami. And we're gonna do Diary Ham, of course. And that's pretty much the whole battle in a nutshell, guys. As long as you stay on her pattern and don't make any mistakes, you should win unless something horribly goes wrong, like a critical hit or you miss pick or whatever. So I guess I'll go ahead and shut up with the commentary and let you guys watch. So enjoy the battle. I, apologize in the I need to stay focused anyway. Can attack, bitch. You got this slapped in the face by your own book. How nice. That my Guru dying is the only time I take her, her element spells without a defense buff. So that's why I'm not worried about my my um, resist magic. I rather have resist physical on because I'm always going to be taking physical damage. Oh shit, now that's very, very bad. That's bad. Okay. I dodged the bullet right there. If she had done a a, a light move, I would have not gotten up, and then she would have switched to her, her her Alice, and then she would have did Majidolion because Lexami is immune to dark. So that's what I'm talking about. 
So sometimes she will completely just utterly destroy you all because of that fucking critical hit. It's just not right. The fact that she can critical hit you even if you're at level 99 with 99 luck is the only reason why she's hard to beat. If it wasn't for that, she wouldn't be hard at all, in all honesty. Her Elizabeth doing critical hits on you, 9 times out of 10, that's the way she's going to beat you by doing the fucking critical hit. It's just wrong. So let's hope that we don't see that again. All right, now this portion of the fight right here, um, she's really close to the 10K mark. A lot of people try to do the whole uh, counterattack thing. What happens is after she's taken 10,000 damage, she will summon her pixie and heal all her fucking HP. For this reason, people try to to make her counterattack on her second turn so that she doesn't get to pixie, and then they finish her off with Armageddon. Unfortunately, that that shit is too fucking luck based. You're relying on her, spamming her physical attacks at the right time. She's going to keep attacking you. She's going to get a critical hit. She's going to wipe you out. You're going to run out of summer, so on and so forth. I, I don't have time for that shit. I'm going to do this the hard way. Marvelous. You wield such power. The performance is underway. I shall give you something to remember. Persona. Unless I'm wrong, she only does this once. And I've got plenty of time to bring her back down to her, um... Back down to her, um... The fuck? Oh, okay, I forgot. Um, when she summons her pixie, she does not change personas to the next, um, rotation. See, she did, um... She did cert twice. I almost died. I forgot about that. She did cert twice. So... Say, for example, if, if she's on cert, when she, she'll summon pixie... And then she'll stay on cert. So, yeah, that's very, very important to, to keep in mind. I guess I'll switch to Anata again because Titania doesn't have any healing abilities and I don't want to waste my items. So, back to Anata with the uh, Dowerham. I told you I really use that, but when I do use it, it really it really helps out. I forgot about the whole pixie not switching persona thing. I almost died there. All right, back to diagnosis. I think we're back on track now. So now we're halfway through the fight. Some people might have been done by now if they're lucky to get the counterattack on the second one, but I'm not that lucky, unfortunately. So now I got to do 10,000 damage again. And once I do 10,000 damage, I will I will switch to Hellel or Satan and, and then seal her fate with Armageddon. Doing it this way takes a lot longer, but I'd rather do it this way than rely on a complete 10% luck-based thing. For, for, fuck that, okay? Fuck that shit. I'm not going to sit here and let her slap me with that book for five hours until she decides to counterattack on a second one. I, I'm not doing that. I could have killed her the hard way by then. 
All right, so let me shut up so you guys can watch the battle. Enjoy. Look at that shit! And again, I dodged the bullet. She did a critical hit and she knocked me down on my ass. I dodged the bullet twice. If she does a light spell when that happens, you are fucked because you will not get up. Well, you're fucked if you're not using Office Telios. So, yeah. If you use Office Telios, it's not the end of the world. But, you know. A token of my I have changed. Now you see that shit? She did my Zeodyne, and then she followed up with the physical attack. If you get shot by my Zeodyne, you're fucked. That's why you need no shock to prevent that from happening. I've died so many times because of that little combo. It's just not right. It's just not. Your fate's in the car. Persona. 
Are you okay? Please be more careful. Are you okay? First aid. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the 10k mark again. Um Again, I might be wrong about this. Some people say that it's random, but um, I've always beaten her by having her here with Pixie. And then I do 10,000 damage again. And then I cast Armageddon because, you know, she seems to only do that, that Pixie thing once. So either I'm just extremely lucky or that's how it really is. Counterattack. You got bitch slapped in the face by your own book, bitch. 707, not bad. Act that up.
I'm getting ready to use my last Soma here. Because I got to make sure that I keep my my um, my um SP in check when it's time to cast Armageddon. Because I need 500 points to use it. Ouch. Mamudan. Alice. I wonder how many of those I've got left, by the way. I haven't been, I haven't been keeping count how many times I got hit by that shit, but oh well. I should have at least five or six left. That, that'll be enough to finish this fight unless she just, you know, just does some really funny shit. Don't forget, Helia can use mind charge too, so, you know. I don't know how many rounds has been, but as you see, you've got enough time to to beat her, even after she chose with Pixie before she gets to her her um fix uh, automatic Medjidolian kill thing. So yeah, you got plenty of time, guys. Gonna cast best friends here, and now I'm getting ready to use my last summon because it's almost time to finish her off once and for good. That looked like a critical at first. I got a little scared there. Bit slapped in the face. Six forty-seven. Add that baby up. Yeah, you definitely want a calculator here, guys. All right, switch it to Tanya. Let her have it with a Nifelheim. Getting real close to that 10,000 damage mark. Ouch. Ouch. Actually, I think I'll do a mind charge first. Just in case I need a few more magic points. Because I got enough to do a mind charge. And I can survive this hit. So I'm going to do a mind charge first. Don't die. Mazia dying. Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? First aid. Now we're gonna do our last soma. Are you okay? Please be more careful. Every time I hear it say "Are you okay?", I think about tales of um, Prepare. which one was that? The one where the girl says, uh, "Are you okay?" First thing, don't ever do it. First thing, which, which tale was that again? Tales of. Siphon or something. I forgot which Tales games that was, but that whole uh, first aid thing really sticks in your head. <laughs> it's really funny. I gotta play it now. Don't overdo it. First aid! <laughs> ah, I really love that catchphrase. Anyway, Dire and Ham. First aid! <laughs> Ouch. Ah, uh, bitch slapped in the face by your own book. 653, add it up. Hi, Ritty. Save my magic points. I'm just going to cast this because we're coming to the grand finale now. Guess I'll go ahead and do a salvation here. Get the full health. I have enough to cast um, Infinity and um, Armageddon at the end. Sexy dance! No thanks, Liz. We already had plenty of sex. Ouch. Alright, Vista New, you're up. Infinity! Persona. 
Megadolion! Fucking Masakata! I would cast best friends here, but I don't need to because I think if you do too much damage past 10,000, she will um, automatically kill you. So I don't know exactly know how that works. So instead, I'm going to go to Laxamy and I'm going to I'm going to put up a protection thing just in case she gets a critical kit or something. Not that it would matter because if she does, then I'll get Mejidolian by her, um, her her Jack Frost because um, Laxamy is immune to ice, of course. My Argadine. Alright, switch to Titania. Don't fail me now. Niflheim. And that is 10,000 damage. My Bufadine. Another My Bufadine. No Pixie. I'm not sure, but I think she only does that once. And now it's time to finish this. Good job, Titania. You did your job very well. But now, unfortunately, in order to kill her, I have to use Armageddon. Well, not kill her, but defeat her, but you know. And there she goes. That fight is not as easy as I made it look. That's only the third time I've defeated her on Fez. I had to record this like five times before I finally beat the bitch. I... I believed that I would find my answer when I challenged one who was stronger than me. But I was wrong. I have received no such revelation. Not even in defeat. Wait. I am mistaken. The answer is this. Only I can decide who I am. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. You have overcome the most difficult obstacle I've placed in your path. You shall receive your reward, the same as always. But, please accept this as well. It is no reward. It is a sign of my gratitude. Well then, good day. Elizabeth, considering all the shit I had to go through to take you down, I think you owe me much more than a book. How about a blowjob or some tits or some ass? You know, we already did it once. Why can't we do it again? I mean, seriously, what the fuck, man? But good job, Titania. I told you I was going to use her to beat this bitch. Moving on to Persona 3 Portable. Yep, we are going to fight her one more time, but this time on Maniac Mode. For the most part, guys, I'm going to use the exact same strategy with a few minor modifications. Laxamy's main job here is to still block Muhammad's spells. However, thanks to skill cards, I now have room for Thunder Rain. If I don't need to heal that turn, I will have her use Thunder Rain instead for some extra damage. Speaking of which, since I'm doing this on a portal version, I can use all chicks because skill cards makes this very, very easy. Sibylla will pick up where Fornios and Dianas left up. Sibylla will block the third turn, and she will also block the third turn. Please, for fuck's sake, on Maniac Mode, you need no shot because she will shock you almost every time. Fuck that. Titania hasn't changed not one bit, except for the fact that she now has Sharp Student. And you may have noticed that all my personas will have Sharp Student because on Maniac Mode, she gets a lot of critical hits. And if you get critical hit on this mode, you're going to die. That's just all there is to it, unless you get, unless you get a counterattack. Hireti for the most part is exactly the same, except she now has Unshaken Will and No Poison, so she will block Alice as well as the Nebra's turn. The fusion skills are replaced by consumable items, but the strategy is exactly the same. Use Infinity before her Masakala turn, use Best Friends when you think it's good, and use Armageddon to finish her off. So I'm not going to bother commentating this time, so just watch and enjoy the battle on main app mode. You have now. Who is that? 
Um, is it just me? Or does it seem like she wants to fight? What? Her power is unbelievable! Who is she? I summon you! I make my living as an elevator attendant, but... I know several effective ways of inflicting pain. Don't worry, I'm not as fragile as I look. Try to kill me, if you can. Prepare. I apologize in advance. Apologizing again. <laughs> Persona. I have chosen. 
chosen. A token of my appreciation. Magnificent. Your power is every bit as impressive as I'd hoped. But the curtain has just risen. Show me your best performance. I have chosen a token of my appreciation. I have chosen a token of my appreciation. in the <laughs> Shows. 
Stand this. Performance is underway. I shall give you something to remember. I have chosen. Token of my appreciation. I have chosen. Persona. I 
apologize in advance. I apologize in advance. I have chosen a token of my appreciation. I 
in the day. I have chosen a token of my appreciation.
I believed that I would find my answer when I challenged one who was stronger than me, but I was wrong. I have received no such revelation, not even in defeat. Wait, I am mistaken. The answer is this. Only I can decide who I am. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. You have overcome the most difficult obstacle I've placed in your path. You shall receive your reward, the same as always. But, please accept this as well. It is no reward. It is a sign of my gratitude. Well then, good day. Alright guys, and this officially puts a fork in my LP of Persona 3. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first SMT game. This is the game that taught me that there are other games out there besides Final Fantasy. I had a really fun time playing Persona 3, and I really enjoyed Persona 4. But yeah guys, that's the end of this LP. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Take it easy.